And I made this using my dad's Proverbi program. With this program, you can make almost anything. Now, he's going to walk through how to use this program. Take it away, Dad. Hi, Dad here. I wrote this bead maker program to help make perler bead creations from images. Let me show you how it works. First, find an image you want to use. Then shrink it down a little bit before you bring it into BeadMaker. I use a program called Irfan View to do this. It's a free image editing program. Crop the image to get rid of stuff you don't want. Then resize the image so it has a manageable number of pixels. I want my image to be three pegboards wide and my pegboards are 29 by 29 so I'm going to set the width to 87 which is 3 times 29. Then save your image and open it up in BeadMaker. When you first load your image, the colors may not look right. You can adjust the colors using the red, green, and blue color dials until the image looks the way you want. If you want to use only neutral colors or grayscale, you can change the palette like this. You can also set whether or not you want to include pearls or translucent colors with these palette mode options. Down in the bottom right here, the image is divided into the pegboards that you're using. If you're using a different size pegboard than the 29 by 29, you can go up and change which size pegboard you're using right here. And you can see it changes the way that it divides your image. I'm using 29 by 29 so I'm going to set it back to this. Now that I have my pegboard size set correctly and my colors chosen and tweaked exactly the way I want them to be, I'm going to save this project so that my settings don't go away. Now whenever I reopen that project, my color settings and the image and the pegboard settings will all be loaded. Over here on the right, it shows you exactly what colors you'll need and how many of each color you'll need. So now I'm ready to start placing some beads. So what I'm going to do is zoom in on one specific tile because I'm going to work one tile at a time. So I'll go down here in the bottom right and you can click on any one of these tiles and it'll zoom in to the one that you want. Now I'm going to go up here and turn the grid on so I can see how the, the beads are separated. And then I want to work on one color at a time. It looks like one of the major colors here is black, so what I'm going to do is just focus on that for now. What I can do is click on black over in the palette and it'll highlight where all the black pegs are and mute all of the other color pegs. You can see I could do the same with prickly pear, pastel yellow, so then you can just work one color at a time. When you're done with all the black beads, you can move on to the next color. Or you can show all of the colors again by going up here. You can also see what color each bead is by putting your mouse over it. And then if you look up in this area here, you can see it'll tell you what color you're using and what the grid coordinates are. I found that when younger kids were trying to use this, they struggled with figuring out where the beads went when they were looking at the screen. So I added this feature that allowed you to print out a pattern of one specific color, and I'll show you how that works now. So I'm going to show all colors and all tiles, and then I'm just going to click on black. So I now have nine tiles with just the black beads highlighted. If I go to export PDF pattern, and then open that up. What it does is it creates these little printable pages that are the exact size of the perler bead tray you're using. 
So you can print those out, put them underneath your transparent tray, and it'll show you exactly where to drop the beads. If you're curious about how many beads your project is using, you can go up here and show project statistics. So it'll tell you how many colors you're using, how many total beads you're using, what the dimensions of your final product will be, and how much it'll cost you based on the number of beads you're using. This first number here is based on buying bags of 1,000 at about $2 a piece. And this is how much it would cost you if you were buying all of the bags you needed today brand new. Well, that's about it. I can't wait to see what you create. Let me know if you have questions in the comments. Thanks. That's how you use this program. Hope you have fun. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.